Heiken Ashi and MACD Trading Strategy. In this video, I will share with you a very simple Heiken Ashi and MACD trading strategy to simplify your entries and exits. So, by the time you finish this video, you will know exactly when to enter high probability trade using the Heiken Ashi candlestick and MACD indicators. As usual, we'll have plenty of practical examples. The idea is to fully understand this wonderful trading strategy and to make the most out of it. If you want more videos more often please smash the like button, subscribe, and turn on the notifications bell so that you know exactly when new content is released. A very important point before we start. Everything we discuss in this video can be used for currency trading, stock trading, and crypto because price action stays relatively consistent across different assets so we're going to go very in-depth in this video. As a trader, we have many things to analyze at any given time. If you take too long to decide whether it's time to enter into a trade because of your complicated entry rules, it might mean a missed opportunity for you. And if you exit your position too early, then it could affect your profitability in the long run. But what if you had a simple way of knowing exactly when to get in and out of your trade without any complicated analysis? Then you want to consider using the Heiken Ashi candlestick to time your entries and exits. In this video, I will share with you a simple Heiken Ashi and MACD trading strategy to simplify your entries and exits so you will know exactly when it's time to enter or exit a trade. And now, what is the Heiken Ashi candlestick? The Heiken Ashi is a Japanese candlestick based technical trading tool that uses candlestick charts to represent and visualize market price data. It is used to identify market trend signals and forecast price movements. The Heiken Ashi technique averages price data to create a Japanese candlestick chart that filters out market noise. The absence of market noise results in a clear illustration of market trends and direction which helps determine potential price movements. The trading technique assists traders in identifying when they should hold on to a trade, pause a trade, or identify if a reversal is about to occur. Traders can adjust their positions accordingly, that is, either avoid making losses or lock in a profit on the chosen position. Heiken Ashi charts, developed by Munahisa Hama in the 1700s, share some characteristics with standard candlestick charts, but differ based on the values used to create each candle. Instead of using the open, high, low, and close like standard candlestick charts, the Heiken Ashi technique uses a modified formula based on two period averages. This gives the chart a smoother appearance, making it easier to spot trends and reversals, but also obscures gaps and some price data. The difference between Heiken Ashi and traditional candlesticks. The main difference between the traditional candlestick chart and the Heiken Ashi chart is that the Heiken Ashi candles provide a smooth averaged version of price action in a chart, whereas traditional candlesticks include the noise of major price changes. Regular candlesticks present a raw version of the open, close high and low prices of a particular bar and Heiken Ashi candles present an averaged version that is dependent on always having the previous candles data to calculate the current one. The chart on the left is the traditional Japanese candlestick chart and the chart on the right is the Heiken Ashi chart. As you can see from the chart on the right, directional moves are smoothed out in a way absent from the left chart. Candles on traditional Japanese candlestick charts frequently change from blue to red, or up or down, which can make them difficult to interpret. On the other hand, candles on the Heiken Ashi chart display more consecutive colored candles, helping traders to identify past price movements more easily. You'll notice that Heiken Ashi charts have a tendency for its candles to stay blue during an uptrend and stay red during a downtrend. This is in contrast to traditional Japanese candlesticks that alternate color, even if the price is moving strongly in one direction. You can clearly see that the Heiken Ashi chart is much smoother looking in terms of price action. This is why many traders prefer to use the Heiken Ashi candles since it reduces the noise on the chart and allows them to analyze trends more clearly. What makes Heiken Ashi different from a traditional Japanese candlestick chart is how the price is displayed in terms of the open and the close. If you look closely at the Heiken Ashi chart, you'll notice that each of the Heiken Ashi candlesticks starts from the middle of the candlestick before it, and not from the level where the previous candlestick had closed. Heiken Ashi candlesticks act this way due to the way they are calculated. If you're interested, here's the calculation. Heiken Ashi close equals average of open, high, low, close. 
Heikinashi open equals midpoint of previous Heikinashi bar. Heikinashi high equals highest of high, Heikinashi close, Heikinashi open. Heikinashi low equals lowest of low, Heikinashi close, Heikinashi open. By the way, please don't bother to memorize this formula. And don't even think about trying to understand why it's calculated this way. It will not help you be more profitable. Or help you become profitable at all. Just understand that it's meant to help you identify trends better in the market. Also, don't mistake the Heikinashi bars as a trading system because it's not. If you go long, whenever you see a bullish bar, or go short whenever you see a bearish bar, then you will go broke very quickly. Like the candlestick bars, it's just giving you information on the market. Heikinashi Price Action Patterns With candlestick bars, you have many different types of price action patterns. You have the doji, gravestone doji, and the dragonfly doji. You have the pin bars. You have the engulfing candlesticks. And the list goes on and on. There are literally tons and tons of candlestick patterns. But with the Heikinashi bars, I've categorized them to just three main types of price action patterns. First, bullish Heikinashi bars. With the bullish Heikinashi bars, you will notice that there's only a wick at the top of the bar, but there's no wick at the bottom. As long as this is an up bar with no wick at the bottom, we consider this a bullish signal. Second, bearish Heikinashi bars. The bearish Heikinashi bars are simply the opposite of bullish Heikinashi bars. They have a wick at the bottom, but not wick at the top. As long as this is a down bar with no wick at the top, we will consider this a bearish signal. Third, indecision Heikinashi bars. To simplify the Heikinashi bars, I've categorized all bars that have wicks at the top and bottom of the bars as an indecision Heikinashi bar. So regardless of whether the bar color is bullish or bearish, as long as there are wicks on both sides, we will consider this an indecision Heikinashi bar. And now, what is the MACD indicator? The MACD is one of the most powerful trend following and momentum indicator. The MACD is a commonly used technical indicator. As stated, the acronym stands for Moving Average Convergence Divergence. In simple terms, a trend following indicator helps you to determine the overall direction of the market, whether it is bullish divergence or bearish divergence. On the other hand, a momentum indicator seeks to determine the speed of the trend. Put them together, and you have the perfect combination for a Heikinashi MACD trading strategy. The MACD can provide an earlier indication that an old trend is about to end, and a new trend is about to start. The MACD manipulates its moving averages in a rather clever way. This indicator is especially useful in Forex, Stock, and Crypto trading strategies. It can signal changes in trend much closer to when they actually occur. Please have a look at this chart example to see the power of the MACD indicator. So, how does it work? Well, the MACD's moving averages and histograms are derived from the price chart. They are calculated using a formula, which adds greater weight to the most recent price movements data. Remember, price is king. In this strategy, Heikinashi bar is a great tool and it can be also used in combination with the MACD trading strategy for a higher success rate. What about the MACD indicator setting? The preferred settings for the MACD indicator are the default settings. Let's move forward to the most important part of this video. The buy or sell rules of the MACD Heikinashi strategy. Now, before we go any further, please take a piece of paper and a pen and note down the rules. Let's get started. MACD line crossing the signal line. This is the most popular and classic way to trade the MACD, the crossover of the two lines. You enter a long position when the MACD line crosses above the signal line. This situation signals that the bearish momentum is probably over and there is a good chance of price moving up. On the contrary, when the MACD line crosses below the signal line, it is a sell signal.
Of course, being classic and popular doesn't make this approach a universal winner. The advantage over the simple MACD crossovers mentioned above is that it doesn't wait for the MACD to cross the zero line, and therefore there is less lag behind the price, sometimes the delay is so small that you can even question this trading approach being trend following. You usually act on just a little slowdown of the momentum in the original trend, which makes the two lines cross. Sometimes this makes you catch a great new trend in the very beginning, while sometimes market resumes the original trend, and you are stopped out. Yes, using stop losses is highly recommended with all MACD strategies. MACD Heikinashi Trading Strategy Rules for a Buy Trade Step number 1. Wait for the MACD lines crosses above the signal line. As shown on the following chart, when the MACD rises above the signal line, the indicator gives a bullish signal, which suggests that the price of the asset is likely to experience upward momentum. Step number 2. Wait for the bullish Heikinashi bars. With the bullish Heikinashi bars, you will notice that there's only a wick at the top of the bar, but there's no wick at the bottom. As long as this is an up bar with no wick at the bottom, we consider this a bullish signal. Go long. Rules for a sell trade. Step number 1. Wait for the MACD lines crosses below the signal line. As shown on the following chart, when the MACD falls below the signal line, the indicator gives a bearish signal, which suggests that the price of the asset is likely to experience downward momentum. Step number 2. Wait for the bearish Heikinashi bars. The bearish Heikinashi bars are simply the opposite of bullish Heikinashi bars. They have a wick at the bottom, but not wick at the top. As long as this is a down bar with no wick at the top, we will consider this a bearish signal. Go short. This should be simple enough. Or, in this video, I've included a template with the system that you can simply upload to your chart, and it will automatically plot all these indicators perfectly on your charts, so there's nothing for you to worry about. Get the download link on the description. How to exit a trade using Heikinashi bars. As for exit, because this is a trend trading play, we want to exit only once the price has formed an opposite Heikinashi bar. So for long trades, we only want to exit when a bearish Heikinashi bar is formed. And for short trades, we only want to exit when a bullish Heikinashi bar is formed. As you can tell, it becomes so much simpler to determine when to exit. Now, sometimes if you are in a long trade, you will get faked out of your position because a bearish Heikinashi bar formed, only to see the next bar become a bullish Heikinashi bar. Or vice versa, if you're in a short trade. But that's fine. There's no way you're going to catch every single bit of every trend there is. Ultimately, if you are profitable from your trades as a whole over a series of trades, then that's all that matters. Here are other examples of how to trade the market using the combination of Heikinashi and MACD indicators to fully understand this wonderful strategy and to make the most out of it. The combination of MACD and Heikinashi candlesticks are great because they smooth the price action. 
As a result, much of the noise shown in traditional Japanese candlesticks is eliminated with Heikinashi charting, and it helps make the trade entry and exit decision simpler. As always, if you learned something new, or if you want more videos more often, make sure you subscribe, click the notification bell, and share this video across your WhatsApp, Facebook accounts, or Twitter to show your support. See you next time. Thank you.